Igorot, or Cordillerans, is the collective name of several Austronesian ethnic groups in the Philippines, who inhabit the mountains of Luzon. These highland peoples inhabit all the six provinces of the Cordillera Administrative Region, Abra, Apeo, Benguet, Kalinga, Afugao, and Mountain Province, as well as the adjacent province of Nueva Vizcaya. Their culture is well preserved because they have defended their land against the Spaniards who already captured the places in the lowlands such as Manila and others. This people from the Cordillera never gave up in defending their land for 333 years that those who tried to go there never came back out or few only survived. Etymology The word Igorot is an exonym, derived from the Austronesian term for mountain people. Formed from the prefix I, dweller of, and golot, mountain range. During the Spanish colonial era, the term was variously recorded as igolo, agolot, and igorote, compliant to Spanish orthography. The endonyms of fugao or ipago, also meaning mountain people, are used more frequently within the igorots themselves, as igorot is viewed by some as slightly pejorative, except by the ibalois. Cordillera ethnic groups The Igorots may be roughly divided into two general subgroups. The larger group lives in the south, central, and western areas, and is very adept at rice terrace farming. The smaller group lives in the east and north. Prior to Spanish colonization of the islands, the peoples now included under the term did not consider themselves as belonging to a single, cohesive ethnic group. They may be further subdivided into five ethnolinguistic groups, the Bontoc, Abaloi, Isneg, or Isneg, Apeo, Kalinga, and the Kankanai. Bontoc The Bontoc live on the banks of the Chico River in the central mountain province on the island of Luzon. They speak Bontoc and Ilocano. They formerly practiced head hunting and had distinctive body tattoos. The Bontoc described three types of tattoos, the chalk lag, the tattooed chest of the head taker, pong, o, the tattooed arms of men and women, and fa, tech, for all other tattoos of both sexes. Women were tattooed on the arms only. In the past, the Bontoc engaged in none of the usual pastimes or games of chance practiced in other areas of the country, but did perform a circular rhythmic dance acting out certain aspects of the hunt, always accompanied by the gang, saw or bronze gong. There was no singing or talking during the dance drama, but the women took part, usually outside the circumference. It was a serious but pleasurable event for all concerned, including the children. Present-day Bontocs are a peaceful agricultural people who have, by choice, retained most of their traditional culture despite frequent contacts with other groups. The pre-Christian Bontoc belief system centers on a hierarchy of spirits, the highest being a supreme deity called Lumawig. Lumawig personifies the forces of nature and is the legendary creator, friend, and teacher of the Bontoc. A hereditary class of priests hold various monthly ceremonies for this deity for their crops, the weather, and for healing. The Bontoc also believe in the Anito. Spirits of the dead who must be consulted before anything important is done. Ancestral Anitos are invited to family feasts when a death occurs to ensure the well-being of the deceased soul. This is by offering some small amount of food to show that they are invited and not forgotten. The Bontoc social structure used to be centered around village wards auto, containing about 14 to 50 homes. Traditionally, young men and women lived in dormitories and ate meals with their families. This gradually changed with the advent of Christianity. In general, however, it can be said that all Bontocs are very aware of their own way of life and are not overly eager to change. Abaloi the Abaloi also Ibaloi and Nabaloi and Kalanguya also Kalahan and Akalahan are one of the indigenous peoples of the Philippines who live mostly in the southern part of Benguet, located in the Cordillera of northern Luzon, and Nueva Vizcaya in the Cagayan Valley region. They were traditionally an agrarian society. Many of the Abaloi and Kalanguya people continue with their agriculture and rice cultivation. Their native language belongs to the Malayo-Polynesian branch of the Austronesian languages family and is closely related to the Pangasinan language, primarily spoken in the province of Pangasinan, located southwest of Benguet. Baguio City, the major city of the Cordillera, dubbed the summer capital of the Philippines, 
is located in southern Benguet. The largest feast of the Abaloi is the Peshat, a public feast mainly sponsored by people of prestige and wealth. Peshat can last for weeks and involves the killing and sacrifice of dozens of animals. One of the more popular dances of the Abaloi is the Bendian dance, participated in by hundreds of male and female dancers. Afugao the Afugao, also known as Amganad, Iangan, Kiangan, Gilipanes, Kiangan, Tuwali Afugao, Mayoyao, Mayoyao, Mayaoya, are the people inhabiting Afugao province. The term Afugao is derived from Apugo, which means earth people, mortals, or humans, as distinguished from spirits and deities. It also means from the hill, as Pugo means hill. The country of the Afugao in the southeastern part of the Cordillera region is best known for its famous Banawe rice terraces, which in modern times have become one of the major tourist attractions of the Philippines. The Afugaos build their typical houses called fails, which consists of a kitchen, bedroom and a worship room altogether. It is a triangular house elevated with four wooden posts. There is a ladder but it is hanged or removed so people or animals cannot enter the fail. Aside from their rice terraces, the Afugaos, who speak four distinct dialects, are known for their rich oral literary traditions of Hudhud and the Alim. The Afugaos' highest prestige feasts are the Hagabi, for the elite, and the Uyauy, a feast for those immediately below the wealthiest. Alim and Hudhud oral traditions of Afugao of Afugao people of the Cordillera administrative region in Luzon Island of Philippines. In 2001, the Hudhud chants of the Afugao was chosen as one of the 11 masterpieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity. It was then formally inscribed as a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage in 2008. Isnig The Isnig, also Isneg or Apeo, live at the northwesterly end of northern Luzon, in the upper half of the Cordillera province of Apeo. The term Isnig derives from a combination of his meaning recede and unag meaning interior. Thus, it means people who live inland. The municipalities in the Isneg domain include Putal, Cabugo, Kalinasan, and Connor. Peralta 1988-1. Two major river systems, the Avulig and the Apeo, run through Isnig country, which until recent times has been described as a region of dark tropical forests, and endowed with other natural resources. In one early account, the Isneg were described as of slender and graceful stature, with manners that were kindly, hospitable, and generous, possessed with the spirit of self-reliance and courage, and clearly artistic in their temperament. The Isneg's ancestors are believed to have been the Proto-Austronesians who came from South China thousands of years ago. Later, they came in contact with groups practicing jar burial, from whom they adopted the custom. They later also came into contact with Chinese traders plying the seas south of the Asian mainland. From the Chinese they bought the porcelain pieces and glass beads which now form part of the Isnig's priceless heirlooms. The Isnig have been known to be a head-taking society since recorded history. As a dry rice farmer, the male head of a household annually clears a fresh section of tropical forest where his wife will plant and harvest their rice. Isneg women also cook the meals, gather wild vegetables and weave bamboo mats and baskets, while the men cut timber, build houses and take extended hunting and fishing trips. Often when a wild pig or deer is killed, its meat is skewered on bamboo and distributed to neighbors and relatives. Nearly all Isneg households also harvest a small grove of coffee trees since the main cash crop of the area is coffee. Isneg people are also known as the Isneg, which is composed of the sub-groups known as the Amandaya and Imalat. Their places of abode are found in the different municipalities in Apeo as follows. Amandaya, Isneg, Kalinasan, Bayag. Imalat, Isnig, Kabugo, Connor, Putal, and some part of Luna, Makatel, the Isnig speak Isneg and Ilocano. 
Isnags are also found in the eastern part of the province of Ilocos Norte specifically the municipalities of Adams, Carasi, Dumalnag, Solsona, and Pitig and northwestern part of the province of Cagayan specifically the municipalities of Sta. Praxedes, Claveria, and Sanchez Mira. Kalinga the Kalinga, also known as Limos or Limos Liwan Kalinga, inhabit the drainage basin of the Middle Chico River in Kalinga Province. The Kalinga are subdivided into southern and northern groups, the latter is considered the most heavily ornamented people of the northern Philippines. The Kalinga practice both wet and dry rice farming. They also developed an institution of peace pacts called Bodong which has minimized traditional warfare and headhunting and serves as a mechanism for the initiation, maintenance, renewal and reinforcement of kinship and social ties. They also speak the Kalinga, Ilocano, and Limos languages. Kalinga society is very kinship-oriented, and relatives are held responsible for avenging any injury done to a member. Disputes are usually settled by the regional leaders, who listen to all sides and then impose fines on the guilty party. These are not formal council meetings, but carry a good deal of authority. Kankanai The Kankanai domain includes western Mountain Province, northern Benguet and southeastern Ilocos Sur. Like most Igorot ethnic groups, the Kankanai built sloping terraces to maximize farm space in the rugged terrain of the Cordilleras. Kankanai houses are built like the other Igorot houses, which reflect their social status. Two famous institutions of the Kankanai of Mountain Province are the Dap I, or the Men's Dormitory and Civic Center, and the Evgen, or the Girls' Dormitory, where courtship between young men and women took place. Kankanai's major dances include Taya, Patong, Takik, a wedding dance, and Balangbang. The Taya is a community dance that is usually done in weddings, it may be also danced by the Abaloi but has a different style. Patong, also a community dance from Mountain Province, which every municipality has its own style, while Balangbang is the dance. S modern term. There are also some other dances like the Sakating, Pinanyuan, another wedding dance, and Bogi Bogi, courtship dance. Hard and soft. Kankanai. The name Kankanai came from the language which they speak. The only difference amongst the Kankanai are the way they speak, such as intonation and word usage. In intonation, there is distinction between those who speak hard Kankanai, Aplai, and soft Kankanai. Speakers of hard Kankanai are from the towns of Sagada and Basao in the western mountain province as well as their environs. They speak Kankanai with a hard intonation where they differ in some words from the soft-speaking Kankanai. Soft-speaking Kankanai come from northern and other parts of Benguet, and from the municipalities of Sabangan, Tadian and Bauco in mountain province. In words for example an apply might say otak or batag pig and the soft-speaking Kankanai use busang or batag as well. The Kankanai may also differ in some words like ige or aga, maid or maga. They also differ in their ways of life and sometimes in culture. The Kankanai are also internally identified by the language they speak and the province from whence they came. Kankanai people from Mountain Province may call the Kankanai from Benguet as Ibenguet while the Kankanai of Benguet may call their fellow Kankanai from Mountain Province Ibontok. The hard and soft Kankanai also differ in the way they dress. Women's dress of the soft dialect generally has a color combination of black, white and red. The design of the upper attire is a criss-crossed style of black, white and red colors. The skirt or tapis is a combination of stripes of black, white and red. Hard dialect women dress in mainly red and black with less white, with the skirt or tapis which is mostly called bakje and gadding. The men formerly wore a g-string known as a wains for the kanakanis of Basao and Sagada. The design of the wains may vary according to social status or municipality. Ethnic groups by linguistic classification Below is a list of northern Luzon ethnic groups organized by linguistic classification. Northern Luzon languages 
Ilocano, Ilocos Norte and Ilocos Sur Northern Cordilleran Isnag, Northern Apeo Province Gading, Nueva Vizcaya Province and Isabela Province Ibanagic Ibanag, Cagayan Province and Isabela Province Itui, Southern Cagayan Province Yogad, Isabela Province Central Cordilleran Kalinga Itneg Kalinga, Kalinga Province Itneg, Abra Province Nuclear Afugao, Afugao Province Balangao, Eastern Mountain Province Bontoc, Central Mountain Province Kankanai, Western Mountain Province, Northern Benguet Province Southern Cordilleran Abaloy, Southern Benguet Province Kalanguya, Callahan, Eastern Benguet Province, Afugao Province, Northwestern Nueva Vizcaya Province, Kalanguya Kili I, Kalanguya Kayapa, Kalanguya Tinak, Karao, Karao, Bokad, Benguet, Alongo, Eastern Nueva Vizcaya Province, Western Quirino Province, Pangasinan, Pangasinan Province. History The gold found in the land of the Igorot were an attraction for the Spanish. Originally gold was exchanged at Pangasinan by the Igorot. The gold was used to buy consumable products by the Igorot. Both gold and desire to Christianize the Igorot were given as reasons for Spanish conquest. In 1572 the Spanish started hunting for the gold. Benguet province was entered by the Spanish with the intention of obtaining gold. The fact that the Igorots managed to stay out of Spanish dominion vexed the Spaniards. The gold evaded the hands of the Spaniards due to Igorot opposition. Samuel E. Kane wrote about his life amongst the Bontoc, Afugao, and Kalinga after the Philippine-American War, in his book Thirty Years with the Philippine Head Hunters, 1933. The first American school for Igorot girls was opened in Baguio in 1901 by Alice McKay Kelly. Kane noted that Dean C. Worcester did more than any one man to stop head hunting and to bring the traditional enemy tribes together in friendship. Kane wrote of the Igorot people. There is a peace, a rhythm, and an elemental strength in the life. which all the comforts and refinements of civilization cannot replace. Fifty years hence, there will be little left to remind the young Igorots of the days when the drums and gonzas of the head hunting canyaos resounded throughout the land. In 1904, a group of Igorot people were brought to St. Louis, Missouri, United States for the St. Louis World's Fair. They constructed the Igorot village in the Philippine Exposition section of the fair, which became one of the most popular exhibits. The poet T. S. Eliot, who was born and raised in St. Louis, visited and explored the village. Inspired by their tribal dance and others, he wrote the short story, The Man Who Was King, 1905. In 1905, 50 tribespeople were on display at a Brooklyn, New York amusement park for the summer, ending in the custody of the unscrupulous Truman K. Hunt, a showman. On the run across America with the tribe in tow. During the Japanese occupation of the Philippines, Igorots fought against Japan. Donald Blackburn's World War II guerrilla force had a strong core of Igorots. In 2014, Victoria Tauli Corpus, a veteran indigenous rights of Igorot ethnicity, was appointed UN Special Rapporteur on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. See also Ethnicities of the Philippine Cordilleras Demographics of the Philippines Ethnic groups in the Philippines Indigenous peoples of the Philippines Proto-Malay Gading people Ibanag people Tagalog people Kapampangan people Ilocano people Ivatan people Pangasinan people 
Bicolano people Negrito Visayan people Cebuano people Boholano people Hiligaynon people Waray people Lumad Moro people References Further reading Boger, Astrid. St. Louis 1904. In Encyclopedia of World's Fairs and Expositions, ed. John E. Findling and Kimberly D. Pell. McFarland, 2008. Conklin, Harold C., Huguan Lupai, Miklos Pinder, and the American Geographical Society of New York, 1980. American Geographical Society of New York, ed. Ethnographic Atlas of Afugao, A Study of Environment, Culture, and Society in Northern Luzon. Yale University Press. ISBN 0-300-02529-7, CS1 maint, Multiple Names, Authors List, Link. Jones, Arun W., A View from the Mountains, Episcopal Missionary Depictions of the Igorot of Northern Luzon, the Philippines, 1903-1916, in Anglican and Episcopal History 71.3, September 2002, 380-410. Narita, Tatsushi. How far is T. S. Eliot from here, the young poet's imagined world of Polynesian Matahiva? In How Far is America from Here, ed. Theo DeHayen, Paul Giles, Jello Cotter and Lois Parkinson Zamora. Amsterdam and New York, Rodopi, 2005, pp. 271-282. Narita, Tatsushi. T. S. Eliot, The World Fair of St. Louis and Autonomy. Published for Nagoya Comparative Culture Forum. Nagoya, Kugaku Shuppen Press, 2013. Riddle, Robert W. All the World's Affair, Visions of Empire at American International Expositions, 1876-1916. The University of Chicago Press, 1984. Cornelis de Witt Wilcox, 1912. The Head Hunters of Northern Luzon, From Afugao to Kalinga, A Ride Through the Mountains of Northern Luzon, with an Appendix on the Independence of the Philippines. Volume 31 of Philippine Culture Series. Franklin Hudson Publishing Co. Retrieved 24 April 2014. External links Cordillera Region Hometown News Bibic.net Bibak Online Community The Igorots in St. Louis Fair 1904 Jenks the Bontoc Igorot Project Gutenberg